The Wayu community is one of the oldest indigenous communities in Latin America. Settled in the peninsular zone between Colombia and Venezuela, their history dates since 150 years BC, and it is known that due to the hardship of the deserts they live in, they couldn't be conquered by the Spanish conquistadors. Nonetheless, in the last five years, more than 14,000 members of this community have been reported to die. Amongst them, 8,000 children that have died of hunger and malnutrition. A humanitarian crisis only comparable to Rwanda and Ethiopia. The mining, corruption and climate change have made water dramatically scarce. Water that nourishes the animals, the crops, and the population. The Waju not only die of hunger, they also die of thirst. Connie Camelo, Colombian singer and actress, undertook a search to find solutions for the community. In her effort to find an alternative for water and sustainable crops for desert territories, she stumbled upon Warka Water, a bioconstruction that involves the community in its assembly and sustainability. Originally implemented in Ethiopia, this module made out of silk and bamboo condenses the water from the air, producing more than 70 liters of drinking water every day for human consumption. Its creator, Arturo Vittori, an Italian architect, artist, and industrial designer that works in projects of innovating design, giving architecture a new meaning. After many months of exchanging emails, Arturo decides to fly to Colombia and meet the Wayu to entertain the idea of building a Huarca water module in this territory. My first experience here at the Guarida has been uh, really interesting. The geographical conditions are unique in the world. First of all, it's a very arid place, so nature is very tough. The impression I had is that uh, obviously there is a big uh, need for water because everywhere is dry. There's even not the presence of a drop of water and you see nature is in luck. And nature also needs water as much as human beings, that they are, and spend a big part of the daily for fetching water and trying to survive, basically. La actividad del día es en busca del agua. Entonces se llevan varios burros hasta el pozo, y en eso transcurre la vida. Madrugan a buscar el agua y todavía en la tarde es que están regresando. Ya no se hace otra actividad como el de tejer, el de hacer otras cosas, sino únicamente pensando en el agua. El camino es compartir, intercambiar con personas tan importantes como Arturo Vitori y pensamos que Su presencia en el territorio Guayú es un aliciente más para nosotros continuar con esa dedicación porque consideramos que en la naturaleza está la solución del agua potable. The journey through the High Guajira was a race against time, going through various rancherías, talking to the community and studying humidity conditions and wind speeds in different places. Finally, Arturo finds the perfect spot. A sacred territory located in an exuberant mountain and natural park called Macuira that has the perfect humidity conditions for the Huarca to function properly. Now we need to go back home to evaluate possible solutions. But so far I think there is a possibility and for sure I believe it's worth to try and at least to bring a test for, for a technique to collect and harvest water from the atmosphere because this is what Warka water means to be. So it may work and if that happen, we, we can you know, help 
maybe some people to have a better life and to take less risk when you know they approach water.